What's up guys, it's Rob and the car today. The car's actually running right now. We got a uh, we got a video kind of for you guys because although I do know a lot about car audio, I know how to fix a lot of shit, I know how to install a lot of shit. Um, and I think yeah, I'm definitely not the best and I still have much to learn, but I do would consider myself knowing more than the average person and being able to make some cool shit. You, know, you guys see the door panels, the, the whole install. Like I said, we're redoing the back with a flat wall, uh, but that's to come later on. Um, but you guys have seen the, the progression from my car because literally when I got the box in for the 18s is when I started this channel. So you guys have seen this car change so much, uh, so much equipment come in and out um, and a lot of installs. But I want to um, want to ask you guys a question today because I have a voltage issue. Um, I do have a high output alternator with a smaller bell with a smaller overdrive pulley. It's an Apex 270 high output alternator. I was having an issue with the alternator at first when it was sent to me, uh, probably in shipping or something. Um, I had a damaged voltage, internal voltage regulator uh, because the Fords do not have external ones, uh, at least on mine. Um, so I sent it back, he repaired it for me. Um, and then you know, now it's, it's doing much better. Um, and I don't think I'm having an alternator issue anymore um, because when I did have that issue, my voltage was dropping down to like, tw like you know, 12.2 in the time that it would take me to stop for a stop sign, uh, for example. So now that that's not happening, my voltage still is dropping when I'm, when I'm uh, lowering my RPM. Um, as you guys can see right here, my voltage is sitting at 13.1 volts. I do have my amplifiers turned on and the voltmeter turned on. Uh, no music is playing, the radio is on though. Um, as you see, this is my switch for the amps. Once I turn that off, it does go back up one volt. Um, and when the car is like off a cold start, when my engine RPM is up higher, this does not happen. Uh, what I usually have to do while I'm demoing the vehicle is I gotta sit here, I gotta put my foot on the gas a little bit and get my RPM up to right there about 1100. A little bit higher would be nice. About 1100, 1200 RPM. Um, and as you see, my voltage was set at 13.8, which makes me much happier. I turn my amps off again, goes up to 13.9. And of course, the longer I do this, the eventually the batteries will charge up more. Um, I have three XS Power XP 2000s in the trunk and a D4100 under the hood. Um, and along with my alternator, um, high output alternator, I do also have the big three upgrade I've done. Um, and uh, all zero gauge running throughout the car. Um, so I'm just kind of at a loss right now. I really don't know what to do. I'm still actually holding the RPM and it, it's at 13.8 and I let it go. And you guys see it drops right back down to 13.3. Um, and that'll happen you know, when I stop. And even like when I put the car into gear, when I put the car into gear like that, it takes a minute. And of course, you know, when I'm playing music, this happens much quicker, but my voltage will just continually drop um, slowly because my RPM is a little bit lower when my car is in gear. Oh, that shot back a little bit more than I was expecting it to. Um, so I really don't know what the problem could be. I was looking into getting maybe an engine tune just to simply raise my RPM about, you know, to about 1100 to 1300. I would use slightly more gas, um, probably be not much of a noticeable difference um, in my everyday driving, I, I don't think. Um, it's really just for more of when I go to car meets and when I go to shows and stuff. Uh, so I don't have to sit here the whole time and, you know, uh, keep my engine revved. Um, but the funny thing is with my factory alternator when i did have that one back in i did not have this issue when i would idle i would be at 14.4 all of the time um of course you know when i was demoing like if i demo without um holding the gas pedal down i'll drop down to about 12.6 and pretty much stay there for for a while i gotta go through a song or two to really drop down below that um and when i had the factory alternator I was dropping down almost immediately to about 11.9, 11.8, uh, right off the base, that, um, right off like the first base note. Um, so I know that that's um, definitely an improvement with the high output alternator, which is why I don't think that that is the problem. 
Um, if you guys know of anything, maybe I can get an external voltage regulator for this car, and I just haven't been able to find one yet. Um, so if you guys could really help me out with this, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, because I'm just at a loss of what to do. I've talked to a couple of people about it. Nobody's really had a solution because I can't just simply adjust my engine idle RPM with a screw uh, like you can on most other vehicles. Mine's controlled through the ECM. Um, so it's not like I can even do that because that would be the quickest fix. Um, I thought of actually maybe attaching something very thin, maybe putting some Bondo glass on it and sanding it down and actually putting it on my throttle body to force it to hold open just a little bit more. Um, if you guys think that that might be a good idea, let me know. Honestly, I've, it's the first time I've, I've tried to solve an issue like this. No, nothing that me or any of my friends, uh, people I work with, other people in the industry can really find a fix for right now. Um, so I, I wanted to reach out to you guys. I know a bunch of you guys that watch my videos do know a lot about car audio. We have you know, conversations in the uh, comment section all of the time. Um, so thank you guys. I greatly appreciate it. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Rob's Base. Um, that's really it for today, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. And as always, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that cool shit you guys do for me here on YouTube. This is Rob, and I'm out. Peace, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I got my own weed sucker, so I ain't gotta hit yours. I'm talking straight in dough.